He is known for his extensive career in both film and television, with notable roles in The Lawless, When Worlds Collide, and Spartacus. He is recognized for his versatile acting skills and his ability to bring depth to his characters. His name is John Hoyt. John Hoyt, a prominent American actor, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry with his versatile performances in both film and television. Born and raised in New York City, Hoyt's love for the arts blossomed at an early age. He honed his craft on Broadway, captivating audiences with his undeniable talent. Hoyt's career milestones and achievements spanned over several decades, as he became a familiar face in the world of cinema. His notable film roles included appearances in iconic movies such as The Lawless, When Worlds Collide, Julius Caesar, Blackboard Jungle, Spartacus, Cleopatra, Flesh Gordon, and Gimme a Break. His ability to bring characters to life with nuance and authenticity earned him critical acclaim and a dedicated fanbase. Beyond his on-screen presence, Hoyt's impact and legacy extend to his contributions to the entertainment industry. His performances resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impression on generations of aspiring actors and actresses. Hoyt's dedication to his craft and his ability to captivate viewers with his compelling portrayals continue to serve as an inspiration to aspiring artists. John Hoyt's remarkable career and his ability to connect with audiences through his performances solidified his place in the annals of entertainment history. His legacy as an accomplished actor endures, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the impact it can have on our lives. In the bustling streets of Broadway in the 1930s, a talented actor named John Hoyt made his mark on the stage. With his debut in William Belitha's play Overture, in 1931, Hoyt quickly became a sought-after performer. His captivating presence and versatile acting skills allowed him to take on a variety of roles in both dramatic and comedic productions. Hoyt's Broadway journey continued with notable credits like Miracle at Verdun, Lean Harvest, and Clear All Wires, in the early 1930s. He also ventured outside of New York City, performing with regional theater groups and gaining valuable experience along the way. But it was in 1937 that he would find a home with the legendary Orson Welles's Mercury Theater. Joining the Mercury Theater troupe, Hoyt became a vital member of the ensemble, showcasing his exceptional acting abilities. For nearly a decade, he honed his craft alongside Wells and his talented colleagues. His dedication and commitment to his craft were evident, as he continued to perform regularly in Broadway productions throughout the 1930s and into the 1940s. During this period, Hoyt's range as an actor was showcased in a variety of plays. From the historical epic Valley Forge to the glamorous Ziegfeld Follies of 1936, he embraced every opportunity to challenge himself on stage. His talent for both drama and comedy was unparalleled, even leading him to work as a stand-up comedian, seamlessly transitioning between acting and making audiences laugh. One of Hoyt's notable achievements was his impersonation of the renowned Noel Coward. His portrayal was so exceptional that he caught the attention of Broadway producers, ultimately landing him a role in the original cast of the hit comedy, The Man Who Came to Dinner. In the production, Hoyt brought the character of Beverly Carlton to life, captivating audiences with his wit and charm. As the curtains closed on his Broadway career, Hoyt's journey would take him to new heights in Hollywood after his service in the army. But his time on the Broadway stage would forever be remembered as a testament to his talent and dedication to the craft of acting. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.